everybody welcome welcome back to my channel Colleen C to serendipity today is July 27th 2022 and I would like to bring you this day in history on July 27th 1974 the House Judiciary Committee recommends that Americans 37th president Richard M Nixon be impeached and removed from office. The impeachment proceedings resulted from a series of political scandals involving the Nixon administration that came to be collectively known as Watergate. The Watergate scandal first came to light following a break-in on June 17, 1972 at the Democratic Party's national headquarters in the Watergate Apartment Hotel Complex in Washington, D.C. A group of men linked to the White House were later arrested and charged with the crime. Nixon did denied any involvement with the break-in, but several of his staff members were eventually implicated in an illegal cover-up and forced to resign. Subsequently, government investigations revealed dirty tricks political campaigning by the committee to re-elect the president, along with the White House enemies list. In June, in July 1973, one of Nixon's former staff members revealed the existing of secretly taped conversations between the president and his aides. Nixon eventually refused to release, initially refused to release the tapes on the grounds of executive privilege and national security, but a judge later ordered the president to turn them over. The White House provided some, but not all the tapes, including one from which a portion of the conversation appeared to have been erased. In May 1974, the House Judiciary Committee began formal impeachment hearings against the president was passed. Oops, I'm sorry. In May 1974, the House Judiciary Committee began formal impeachment hearings against Nixon. On July 27 of that year, the first article of impeachment against the president was passed. Two more articles for abuse of power and contempt of Congress were approved on July 29 and 30. On August 5th, Nixon complied with a U.S. Supreme Court ruling regarding that he provide transcripts of the missing tapes and the new evidence clearly implicated him in a cover-up of the Watergate break-in. On August 8th, Nixon announced his resignation, becoming the first president in U.S. history to voluntarily leave office. To voluntarily leave office after departing the White House on August 9th, Nixon was succeeded by Vice President Gerald Ford, who, in a controversial move, pardoned Nixon on September 8, 1974, making it impossible for the former president to be prosecuted for any crimes he might have committed while in office. Only three presidents in U.S. history have been impeached. Andrew Jackson in 1868, Bill Clinton in 1998, and Donald Trump in 2019 and 2021. I thank you all for watching this day in history. And if you would, please give my channel a, and comment down below. And would you think about subscribing if you haven't already subscribed to my channel? And I hope everybody has a blessed, blessed day. And remember to smile because I love you, but more importantly, God loves you. Thanks. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.